what is up guys long rest another video and let me hurry up and uh try to uh review this as fast as i can because uh my it's like it's about to die like it's only 15 percent so i'm a, um i'm about to review this like fast as i can so edge opened up the show and he was saying that uh that um recently um many um people has uh have their mouth uh falling out of their face let's start with um let's start with roman reigns and he said uh he was talking about roman reigns and all that stuff he said um uh about the whole fa uh, family thing like he sound like you can uh and I, I don't like i don't know daniel bryan then he went to daniel bryan and saying like you um he said he uh said how daniel bryan said that he wrestled more um than he did uh a year and he said um you don't know who i uh you don't uh you must forgot who i am i'm i'm edge and i wrestled the big show i wrestled the big show john cena C um chris jericho I mean, well, he didn't say Chris Jericho because he can't say that. Randy Orton, Eddie Guerrero, uh, and um, so on and so on. Daniel Bryan came out, and um, Daniel Bryan said he's surprised that uh, that he is hearing this from Edge. He he would usually um, he would kind of like support his um decision, trying to ch trying to um chase the trying to chase his dream and stuff and they was us uh, talking a little bit edge um and uh that was the end of the segment and then we got <clears throat> dominic and the street prophets come out and we seen the dirty dogs and the alpha academy beat the holy shit out of the street prophets and raymond story with dominic and can i just say something real quick I don't know if the whole this whole storyline is dropped, but why is Dolph Ziggler teaming up with Otis after Dolph Ziggler tried everything? Um, number one, stole Matty Rose and made him go through this hell. Why is he still? Why is he teaming up with Dolph Ziggler? But at the end, the Street Profits won. The Street Profits and Dominic won. Dominic and Ray won, and then we got. <clears throat> uh, I'm not gonna even say anything about this yet. This yet, but um, the first thing we got was Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins said, "I'm not worrying about Seth Rollins. Why are we still talking about this? I mean, I'm not worrying about Cesaro. Why are we still talking about this? He was a waste of time, and he's over him." And he said, and uh, Kata Bryson said, we're gonna, they're gonna, uh, Buddy Murphy and Cesaro is gonna have a rematch. And so before I get into this monstrosity segment with, I'm not gonna even say who, you're gonna find out. Buddy Murphy is is creative, is so creative. This man is giving an explanation of why. Aaliyah and him, uh, and the whole Mysterio thing got dropped, but he's in he's in kayfabe. He's saying that uh the Mysterio family used him and all that stuff. This is why I love Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy is so creative. We need more talent like that to be more creative. We need more talent like that. I'm just saying. Oh brother. Um. So Nia Jax. She and just most girls took Reginald on a shopping spree. On a shopping spree. And Reginald was uh check uh, was um trying out outfits and stuff. And Nia Jack smacked his ass and Shayna looks like she she's just like I should he I bet you Shayna Shayna Baszler is probably thinking I should have stayed on NXT <laughs> Shayna Baszler was probably thinking 
why did I move up from the main roster? Like, why? I could have been feuding with Io Shirai and Tony Storm for the NXT Championship. But no, I'm stuck in this storyline. That's how Shayna looked. That's how Shayna Baszler actually looked. And Reginald flipped into Nia Jax a lot and all that stuff. And uh, I don't know what Reginald said. He said, um, uh, what can I do to make you happy? And she just starts smiling. And I'm I am just thinking of the worst things that can possibly happen. <laughs> the worst things that can possibly happen in this and um after that uh segment. And you y'all if y'all not care if you if you're if um if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're if uh if you're a kid, you're probably not gonna know what I'm, what I'm talking about. But um, we seen Cesaro and Buddy Murphy. Cesaro and Buddy Murphy. Um, uh, do, um, Russell again. And when Murphy, well, when Cesaro went for a, uh, well, we seen Seth Rollins come out there. He was on the ramp, sitting on the chair, watching the match. When Cesaro hit the Cesaro swing, Seth Rollins just turned into a madman and just start beating the piss out of um Cesaro and he um attacked him, he hit him with uh multiple curve stomps and he tried to he put him in the in between the chair and honestly put him like kinda like in the chair and he was about to hit a curve stomp and but the um the officials and stuff was coming in and to to stop Seth Rollins. And um Sephiroth um Sephiroth was telling Cesaro to get up to get up. I like, was telling him to get up while he was walking up the ramp. And then guess who guess who Raw um Rollins went um oh uh, when Rollins went in uh in the curtain when it went backstage he went face to face with Shinsuke Nakamura. We need this match at, at Fast Lane. We don't need it on SmackDown. We need it at Fast Lane. Leave Cesaro and, and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Keep that at WrestleMania. So, Edge and Jey Uso backstage segment. Well, actually, Jey Uso was going to go talk to Roman Reigns. And Paul Hunter said, where you going? He said, I'm going to go talk to uh, Roman Reigns. He said, "Um, you know, fr- Fridays and all that stuff is a stressful time. A stressful time. And... Uh, he said, but Jay also said he he was cool like yesterday. Like, I don't, what's going on? He said like, you know the uh when you tapped out to Jay Uso and he now he got to defend the Universal Championship. He said, oh that's cool. Uh, he said call me if you need me. And he said he said all right. And boom. Uh, then we seen Edge walk up to him. We seen Edge walk up to Jay Uso and saying that he watched him. Uh, Jay Uso. Uh. He um met Jay Uso since he was a kid, since he was a, a kid, and all that stuff. And he said, um, "What are you doing? You're playing lap dog to the big dog. This is not you. What did what do your father think about this?" And he said, "Don't talk to me like you know me." Um, he said, "You need to um enjoy your family because when Roman Reigns gets you at WrestleMania, you're not going to enjoy anything." And he said. Well, fuck you, helicopter. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Fucking helicopters. He said, um, and he said, okay. He said, look in the mirror. And he left away. And we seen Kevin Owens, the Ke- um, KO uh, walking backstage. And we seen Sami Zayn walk up to him and ask him, do you want to be in this uh documentary? And Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens was hesitating, but he said, I'll think about it and all that stuff. And I don't know if this actually is going to happen. I think we're going to get Kevin Owens and Sami at WrestleMania. It will be a random match, but like it need a champion. I, I think Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn need a championship. Like I don't, I don't think it should be just a one-on-one match. But the KO show. Two special guests was the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, and the Royal Rumble winner. 
and Sasha Banks came out, came out, she almost dropped her fucking belt. She almost dropped the belt. She dropped. She almost dropped it, but she caught it in the nick of time. And we seen uh, Sasha Banks and uh, Bianca Belair going back and forth. And Kevin Owens brought up the um the whole segment of the whole situation with uh Sasha Banks and Reg- Reginald, and Sasha Banks said um that I can't help it if I look that good. And Bianca Belair is like, that's the re- like that's like you see like that's gonna um cost you and like like you don't even want you don't even uh you're just kind of like and then both of them were going back and forth and all that stuff and then we seen. She and just most girls come out, and we seen catering one and catering two. Now that um Natalia and Tamina come out, and Reginald uh distracted Sasha Banks to uh for um Bianca Belair to get um to get rolled up by catering, which catering got the win, and uh. By the way, I'm talking about Natalia and Tamina, and so, and Bianca Belair said, said to um Sasha Banks that like this is the problem. You need to handle that. He said like I, you need to handle that. You don't even want him. You're just te- you're just um leading him on and all that stuff. He said handle that. And he said um we both. And Sasha Banks said, we both lost. Nah, you, like, you got to handle that. And then we seen um, Bianca Bella and Sasha Banks get into a backstage where they didn't fight, but she was telling them to ha- tell her how to handle it, handle uh, the original situation. And Sasha Banks said, I'm not, she said that I'm, she said that I'm not going to get all the blame because, uh, because you took the L, and she called her a rookie. And Bianca Belair is looking like this bitch called me a rookie. Like did this bitch just call me a rookie? Um. Look. Should I even do my thoughts on the whole Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair situation right now, or should I leave it for another video? Because I have a lot of stuff to say about this. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks, it don't, this match do not feel important. This match do not feel important. And can I just say something? Why did they get in a title shot at Fastlane? Didn't they lose? Didn't they lose the Elimination Chamber? And I'm going to do another thing on Fastlane tomorrow, well, today. But Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair do not feel like it's for the championship. It don't feel a, like a prestigious rivalry. It feel like they're just fighting over Reginald. That's what it feel like. They're just fighting over Reginald. It don't feel like it, the match is important. When I get into that match, it don't even feel like it's a WrestleMania match anymore. They Because WWE fucked it up with this whole Reginald storyline. That that's just that's that's just my that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. You can go with your opinion. You can try to take up for the bullshit. You can try to take up for uh their bullshit. You can try to take up for SmackDown's bullshit and Vince McMahon's bullshit. And expect a terrible match for WrestleMania. And by the way, Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that I'm gonna save that for another video. I'm gonna save the smack I'm gonna save the Sasha Banks um video for Rus- WrestleMania video for Rus- um for probably the day or the morrow. I don't know. Um so let's get into this ma- get into this. Biggie came out with a neck brace, a cast, and a uh <clears throat> um a crutch and all that stuff, and he ripped everything off and then Biggie Biggie put on one of the like I love this promo. I love this promo. If you if you don't like if you haven't seen the promo that he put cut on SmackDown, 
go back and watch it. Cause this was one. Of, this was I think this was good. This was good. And he said that uh, now I gotta end you. He said now I gotta end you. I told you. Uh, he said it, it's not. It's no apologize for this. He said I, I can't just pin you. I can't just pin you no more. Now I gotta end you. Now I gotta end you. And he called Apollo Crews out there. He didn't come out. He said fine if you don't want. The um, if you don't want um, <clears throat> to um get your shot at the um the um IT championship, I guess I'm gonna um uh it's um I'm gonna do an open challenge. So um Baron Corbin came out there with a suit and all that stuff. He said I I don't have no problem uh um ripping this suit up and putting a little scratches on it and if it don't uh if if it has what if I had if I um he said I he said I don't have no problem ripping this suit up if it means getting that in a kind of championship and then Sami Zayn come out there and said I accept and he said you didn't say uh you um accept I um you didn't uh you didn't say you you wanted the uh you didn't say you didn't accept uh you just um you, um I uh did it and then basically um Sammy and Corbin was going back and forth and Biggie said you fools okay whoever gets in the ring whoever jumps in the ring gets a shot at the IC championship Sammy Zayn runs in the ring gets his ass whooped by um by Biggie commercial break then we seen. Uh, at the end of the match, we seen Sasha, we seen Sammy hit a a power bomb, a kind of like a flip power bomb up on the uh, turnbuckle, and he tried he pinned him, and uh, he kicked out. We seen uh, Sammy Zayn slap Big E, and keep slapping him. He put him away with the uh, big ending. Then we hear Apollo Cruz music hit after um after Big E won, and Big E. Uh, must have known that he was gonna uh, go through the uh the crowd. Well, the Thunderdome. He wasn't gonna go through the entrance. He was gonna go to the Thunderdome. But Baron, but Apollo Cruz is that damn smart, and he attacked. But and he attacked him. Uh, um, he knew he was gonna turn around, so he uh he attacked him. Uh, cause he I think he came from under the ring or something, and he attacked him and all that stuff. Hit him with the steel steps. You know, it's like when we seen Apollo Crews uh, standing on the steps, and this man, I gotta give up, give it up to um Apollo Crews. This man was a smiley baby face. There's gonna be a lot of parts to this um review, cause I'm just keep getting interrupted. Um, so I gotta give it up to Apollo. This man. Went from a smiley baby face to a to a a hail a good hail, but his accent does remind me of T'Challa from uh Black Panther R. I. P. Black Panther, but I like this gimmick. This is I think I like this gimmick. I like this side of Apollo. We need more of it. We need more of it. So let's move on. From this, let's return over the. So now, Reginald backstage segment, and La um Nia Jax was laughing at the fact that Tasha Banks thinks she was going to be two belts Banks at WrestleMania. I'm um, going into WrestleMania, and Reginald gave her the uh, gave her a brilliant idea, um to have Sasha defend the cha um so uh, Nia Jax can get a shot at the championship at the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship next week. At, on SmackDown, and we went to the contract signing, and Roman Reigns said, "You don't want this. You don't want this." And he said, "I'm not going to sign a contract." He said, "This is a different Daniel Bryan. This is a different Daniel Bryan." And then Daniel Bryan said, "Okay, if you don't want it, uh, I I truly want this." And he was calling, he was getting under his skin. And that, and we seen Roman Reigns saying, shut up, shut, shut the, shut the fuck up.
please. And he said, Paul, Paul, give me the fuck, give me the damn, give, give me the damn pen, give me the damn pen. And he just, he said, I'm gonna smash, I'm gonna smash you, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And he, he um, signed the, um, he signed it on, he signed on the dotted, dotted line and all that stuff. And he said, I'm gonna make, uh, uh, he told Roman Reigns that he Roman he um Dane Brown told Roman Reigns that I'm gonna make you tap just like I did Jay Uso and he said um Jay Uso he said enough now enough disrespecting the Tribal Chief this match needs to be called down the line so we need a uh a special guest referee for this match and he said Edge Edge came out and said that's a great idea how about me and you uh, um next week on SmackDown, fight for that opportunity. Whoever wins, manage. Whoever wins, be the special guest referee. Then everybody just brawled, and then we seen um Ed brawl with uh uh Roman Reigns, and then we seen Daniel Bryan try to uh 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 was trying to um gang up on Roman Reigns, and we seen Edge uh throw him off, and he hit him with a uh and Roman and Daniel Bryan hit him with a running knee. And he just looked at him. That was a good moment to close off some um SmackDown. Now can I just say now it was some good and it was some bad. It was an okay SmackDown. I didn't mind this show. But but it was just rematches after rematches. I still don't understand that. Whole Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair thing is not clicking for me. Um Apollo Crews is the best thing. On SmackDown, other than Roman Reigns, and that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. See you guys next time. Peace out. Love you guys. Take care of yourself. See you guys later.